So there's one simple problem I'm trying to fix with the air conditioner, and this applies to every single air conditioner out there. When you first turn it on, it'll draw something like 200 to 300 watts from a particular model. But that's only because the radiator is still cold. As the temperature rises, it gets harder and harder to liquefy the refrigerant, and this takes more and more energy from the compressor. You can see the wattage slowly creep up as it gets hotter and hotter. The surprising thing is it's not even that hot yet, it's under 100 degrees. During the summer, it's sometimes over 110 degrees outside, and that means this radiator just can't cool off, even with the fan blowing on it. During the summer, these radiators reach something like 150 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit, and what that does is it almost doubles the amount of power this air conditioner uses. I mean, we're at 100 degrees and it's already drawing 410 watts. Look at the wattage drop as I start cooling it down. Watch the temperature as I spray some water on the radiator. Look at that, that's a 30 degree difference. Because water cools this radiator so well, I've added this little soaker hose in the top. And this is just a tube that I drilled a whole bunch of holes in. I 3D printed this little part to connect to the tube and the hose. And there it is connected. It's quite cold today, about 75 degrees. But we're just gonna let it heat up and see how many watts it draws. And then we're gonna turn on the trickle of water and see how that affects the wattage. It's been running for 20 minutes and the temperature is 59 degrees on the output and 110 on the hot side. We are at 510 watts. Let's turn on the water. We really don't need that much for it to cool it, so we just need a tiny little trickle. Look at that, that's an incredible temperature change. And because of the temperature change on the radiator, we're actually getting colder air out the output. This is awesome. Not to mention that our watt has dropped almost 150 watts. That is incredible. In a future video, I'll be making a mini split unit out of this air conditioner and water cooling with my pool, so stay tuned for that. I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you guys next time.